Oh, you know what? What? They gotta go on this side. Man! Cause that's, cause they're like. Yeah, they don't fall all the way through. Uh-uh, okay. Well, cut your zip ties down, it'll be all right. So the reason we have it zip tied is because it arrived broken. And this was the second board because it broke one other time and they shipped it back. And we're really pressed for time to get this done in time for the market. So we're making do with what we have for now. Hopefully they'll still send us a new board. But in the meantime, we're going to grow some lettuce. I actually had these on the underneath side so you didn't see all this junk, <laughs> but I put it all in upside down. So now you can see those. Good job. You're doing great. I guess you put the roots, this is all new for us. Again, why I'm saying it's upside down is this float bed has small hole. Like they're tapered. Big hole, so it's tapered. And they just go in like that. It even has a slot for the little stem to go in. But we're gonna put it in there. And you can see the roots hanging from underneath. interrupt this YouTube video to bring you Luke found a snake <laughs> so they have to investigate he thinks it's a copperhead but it's his brother says it's black so it's part of living in the mountains got to teach him snake safety Don't try this at home. So I just overseeded this tub with some basic lettuce. And we're pulling them out one by one. And we're gonna get them on the board. It's better to start these in dirt because obviously the seeds are gonna fall through the little holes and get their roots established. And then you can transfer them over to your water system. Levi's doing the last one on our bed. We've got 72, what will be 72 heads of lettuce. You can see all the little roots, some bigger than others, hanging down. We have them at all different stages. So we've got a steady stream of lettuce. We're hoping this will be good for the market that we can grow lettuce all year round when it's too hot because lettuce will bolt in the heat. So this is where it's gonna live, <laughs> our little pond. It is over it. It trickles down and it feeds the pond and then it overflows into another small little creek that connects to our big main creek. So do you wanna tie it to a tree or are you just gonna let it go? I'll just put it in there and see kind of what it does. It's probably gonna work its way yeah. It's probably going to work its way over there. Um, Which is pretty shallow, so. What if I should tie it off? My fear, my only fear is that animals will get it to the banks and nibble it. Like a raccoon or something. It's starting to rain. Lovely. Tree, but... Levi, can you get the rope? I think there's rope in the side by side. In the glove box. I think it'll eventually work its way over there, but I wonder if I could just tie a string around the tree. And... It looks really tiny in this pond. <laughs> 
should we tie a rock around it and just put a string and let it float in the middle? Oh, that's a cool idea. The problem is, how are we going to get it? Just pull it. I'll tie a rope to the tree. Oh, and then anchor it to the middle? That yellow string is in the greenhouse in my basket. Levi, you want to go get it? Oh, that's okay? All right, never mind. Dad says that's good. So I'm afraid a little raccoon's gonna come and get it. You know raccoons can swim, right? Okay, then never mind. It don't matter. <laughs> do you think we should tie it to a tree or do you want to just... Anchor it? Well, if a raccoon can swim and get it no matter what, just tie it to a tree. So did you leave the zip tie a little loose so you could get the string through it? No, not particularly. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna tie a... Got the short end of that rope. <laughs> So the difference in aquaponic and hydroponic is hydroponic grows things in just water. A lot of microgreens grow that way. We This would be considered more aquaponic because it's an ecosystem. We have fish, we have bugs, we have the fish poop in the water, they snakes. fertilize the water, there's snakes. All of that creates this wonderful ecosystem that allows these plants to pull the nutrients from that and grow. So yes, we have 36 acres, we have plenty of growing space, but this is a nice option to kind of give us greens and things that would typically only be grown in like spring or fall over the summer. It's cool, the water's cool, and it's cool here under these trees. And we think this will be a cool way to grow some lettuce and maybe some, we're gonna experiment with some other greens. I should keep it. I think that is going to let it float kind of in the middle. Yeah. And like I said, this is spring fed. So there's always water coming in and moving it. That's another thing that's needed when you're doing an aquaponic system is the water needs to be moving. We'll see. There she goes, her maiden voyage. It's good just floating around in there yeah definitely need to order another board so what's also kind of cool about this whole thing is once one of them gets big enough to harvest we can just go ahead and plunk another one in its place it's not that's just where i tie both um, the ropes together though great <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you to get it They're a little shocked and wilted, but I think they'll perk back up. This one was a 72 plug float bed and they have one inch hole. So that's the size of the little plugs we bought to put down inside of it. So we'll see how they hold up. This is all an experiment and we've just decided to bring y'all along with us. See if this even works. <laughs> if it works, it's gonna be awesome though. Okay, this was our final <laughs> decision and setup. Tied rope to some stake and we kind of have it anchored out there in the middle so it won't float around or float away. Just temporarily till this is, see if this actually takes off or not. Yeah. We're experimenting. <laughs>